All right, so let's talk about the tuna fish skin, AKA paint a tuna fish, because this is basically this season's Maya or this season's Chimera. Basically it's the customizable skin in season eight. Now, obviously to get this skin in the first place, you don't have to grind very much at all. He's on page one of the battle pass. So you have to buy him with battle stars and then you're good to go. So once you do that, you can come over here and there's three different customizable options. You can do the color bottles, which will paint him a full color. I'll show you that in just a second. You can do the character styles, which will turn him into a character. And I'll show you that in a second. And then we've got a third style, but I don't know what this is yet. It's not available until 17 days. So we don't know what this does. I'm very curious to find out. So I already did a video covering all these color bottles. As you can see, I collected all 21 already and you can too. It does take a little bit of grinding, but it's super easy to do. Again, I will link that in the outro. I show all 21 locations, which you can collect right now. So first, let me show you how this works. These are the color bottles. They show up on your mini map. You collect three in each category and then you're good. So once you've collected your three, you go into your skin again, the tuna fish skin. And on the top, you can see if you press R2 on the PlayStation five, it cycles over to the custom style option. So these are where your color bottles will show up. Like I said, I have them all. This is the default one right here, this white one. So you can mix and match whatever color you want. So let's just do a random hodgepodge. Right now I have the Renegade Red on everything. So then you can cycle from the head to the accessories, to the hat, to the shoe, to the glove, to the arm, to the leg, to the sock even, and lastly the scarf. So let's do a hodgepodge of colors. I'm gonna leave the face Renegade Red. Let's just pick frozen blue for the accessories. The hat, we're gonna make red. The shoe, let's do purple. The glove color, how about white? We'll leave those white. The arm will do codename green. The leg color, we're gonna do, how about desert sand? The sock color, let's do magenta. And lastly, the scarf, we will do, hmm, how about gray? So there you go. That is my hodgepodge color scheme right there. Now you can do the same thing for the back bling. However, you can only change the fish color, the bowl and the water you can't change, but any color of fish you want, provided you've unlocked that color bottle, you can change it. And then you can also swap them to being dead if you want, which is sad, but true. And we'll save that. Same thing for the guitar, Stringles, which is actually reactive. I'll do a full review and gameplay on this soon though. And you can change the color, pretty awesome. We'll make him this blue color. And then lastly, the whale sailor, same thing. You can change the color and it changes the color of the little fish that flies up that he eats as well. Just a super fun set, I really enjoy this. So that is the color bottle section. Now down here are the character styles. So in order to get these, they all cost 10 rainbow inks. So in order to unlock all of these character styles, you need 210 rainbow inks but they're super, super easy to get. So let me just show you real quick. So right here, it explains it. It says, find rainbow ink inside chest to claim predefined character styles. And I already went over the color bottles. It says, find color bottles across the island to paint in your own custom style. So unlike cosmic chests, which you couldn't open solo, these rainbow inks you can find just by opening any chest. So it's super easy. I've played like four matches and look, I already have 42. You can see in the top right corner, 42. So let's go ahead and buy some of these. So I'm gonna buy the Renegade Raider. Look at how awesome this is. 10 to buy the Renegade Raider style. So let's claim this. Right there is the Tuna Fish Renegade Raider. Doesn't that look amazing? I love it. So let me show you what you can do with this now. So that's the only one I'm gonna buy at this moment, just so I can show you what happens. So let's go back into our Tuna Fish. And this time, instead of going over here to the custom style, we're just gonna select the Tuna Fish Renegade Raider. Now you may be thinking, well, can't you just make all of these character styles with your custom one? But you can't because you can't change the shirt color in the custom ones. Whereas this one quite literally changes the shirt to that Renegade Red color. Likewise, for all these other ones, you can't change the shirt color. In the custom option right here, you're stuck with black on the shirt and the pants. There's no option for these anywhere. So you can change everything else except for the shirt and the pants. 
So that's the whole point of these character styles is that you basically get a mimicked version of who you're selecting. This is the mimic version of Renegade Raider, which is awesome in my opinion. I love it. And some of them even have special design. For example, Diamond Diva has special eyes there. Same thing for Snowheart. She gets these weird markings all over. What else? Let's see if there's anything else special about some of these. A lot of different color eyes for sure. I mean, this guy, Love Ranger, doesn't even have eyes. This one has different color eyes, at least around the eyeball, which is cool. This one changes entirely to codename Elf. It's just really fun. One of the best customizable skins I've ever seen, to be honest. Isn't that awesome? Pumpkin. <laughs> yeah, so that's super cool. I actually like this one, the Snowheart, because it's so unique. I'm going to go ahead and buy that one. Pretty cool. Look at that. So you can just have a heyday here with all these cool things you can do. A lot of these look really sweet. I love the Love Ranger as well. This one's pretty sweet because it's orange. Love it. And actually, the Red Knight looked pretty cool too. Really dark though. I like Lexa. <laughs> Fun stuff for sure. What did Peely look like? Eh, not a fan of that one. Bush Ranger? Eh, okay. We'll do the Red Knight. So there you go. That's how the Tuna Fish works. I'm going to do a full gameplay and review on all this because the entire set is amazing. And I can't wait to show you guys some of the combos that I've made. So there you go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.